Hi, my name's Dave. I was competing in the DARPA Shredder Challenge as well, and I wanted to share some of my ideas and solutions. Like many, I started by cleaning up the images that DARPA provided and stretching the colors so that the horizontals and the background and the artifacts were all easily separated out. I then made small collages of what the paper looked like, what any artifacts or background that should be excluded looked like, what the ink looked like, and what the horizontals were like. After chat extraction, I got an image of where all of the lines and ink and borders were detected. You can see here that we're excluding the torn paper, but including the ink and the chad very successfully. All the chads are then loaded into this program that I wrote that will allow us to flip through chads, displaying them as they appear in the puzzle. Here's one that I've purposely deleted a chunk of so that we can explore. I'm going to click Find Matches and we're going to cycle through some matches until we find one that looks very good and obviously that's using some computer matching to figure out which ones are best um, scoring them sorting them in descending order and uh, we're going to accept this match and then we're going to click the preview again and you can see that we'll have much more of the puzzle attached and if I didn't like that, then I can go and edit this particular chad, and I can go next, next. I've only got two matches on this chad, and I can delete that match, go back into preview mode, and then I've just got what I started with. So, after that, I use the same routines I used to do the preview to do what I call final assembly. It just goes through all the chads, finding connections, 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 and eventually spits out a final assembled image of what it thinks the puzzle looks like. You can see some alignment errors creeping in as it goes along one path and then matches to another path and comes back up. I could do better with that if I had it to do again. I've also got some fantastic ideas for auto-assembling these things so that I don't have to go through manually clicking each match. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much what I got right now. Unfortunately, I was about 12 hours late getting my first entry in, so I'm not on the leaderboard. I'm hoping they'll add me, but we'll see how that goes. And that's my entry to the DARPA Shredder Challenge.